in 2010, my doctor told me to buy a funeral plot because I would need one within the next five years. But I'm still here because a shelter dog saved my life. When people see a photo of who I was five years ago, they, they can't and often don't believe that it's me. My weight had crept up to 340 pounds. My blood pressure was through the roof, super high cholesterol. I had type two diabetes and I was taking over a thousand dollars worth of medications a month. And I, I just felt really uncomfortable around other people. I became separated from society and I just stopped living. I went on a business trip. You know how small airplane seats are. I could barely squeeze into one and basically I'd spill over both uh, sides. They had to delay the flight because they didn't have a seatbelt extension that would fit me. There was a gentleman next to me and he just looked in complete disgust and he looked at me and he goes, I'm going to miss my connection because you're too fat. That really was my, uh, my bottom point. That's the point that I, I really decided that, you know, I'm either going to die or I have to do something. I looked in the phone book and I found a nutritionist near me. One of the first things that she asked me to do was to go adopt a shelter dog. It would force me to go outside. It would force me to become more socially interactive. So I, I went to the local shelter and I remember telling the lady, I would like a, an obese middle-aged dog so that I would have something in common with him. And when I walked into the room, we both looked at each other with like a look of, really? I took him home that night. Neither of us knew what to expect. And over a period of time, we really formed an inseparable bond and one that I'd never really experienced with another person or animal or anybody. We began walking for at least a half an hour a day, every day. And over the course of a year, just by changing what I ate and walking with Petey, I lost about 140 uh, plus pounds. Everything about my life improved. I got off all meds. I, I no longer have type 2 diabetes. Petey also lost about 25 pounds, so we did it together. It was like a miracle. There you go. Ooh, hi, Petey. <laughs> so I, I read over Petey's paperwork when I adopted him. And it turns out that he was left alone in a backyard and uh, nobody played with him. He'd had arthritis and all kinds of rashes and his skin was just itching all the time. He was wondering what would ever happen to him. He'd gone from being in a situation like I was where he didn't have any friends and he didn't know anybody and really became a proud dog. Are you ready for the next stop? Petey's a good boy. Beyond unconditional love. Yum, peanut butter. Petey taught me absolute loyalty. He looked at me in every sense as though I was the greatest person on the planet. I decided that I wanted to be the person who he thought I was. One of the things that I dreamed of doing was running a, a full marathon. And he looked at me like, you can do it. And I went out and I did it. This entire process brought me out of my shell and made me a different person. I knew that he was getting old and his time was coming. They discovered a really large cancerous growth on his spleen and there was really nothing that they could do. I knew that he was going to die. I uh, just lay with him on the floor. He just looked at me and I could tell that the life had just passed out of him. And that was the end. And I just sat there and I held him. I loved him so much. I just was so sad. And, you know, I'm still not over it. About six months later, after a, a race, suddenly just came into my mind, just drive over to the shelter right now. And I did. There's a dog that had been put in the adoption pen four minutes earlier. 
His photo wasn't on the wall. He wasn't on the website. And I just looked at him and he looked at me and he went, it was like, dude, let's get out of here. <laughs> Jake is a completely different dog. Jake loves to play and we started training and he now runs 10 mile distances with me and we're gonna do our, our first half marathon together. He's the best running buddy I could possibly have. So really, thanks to Petey, I wake up every day wanting to be the best person that I can possibly be. He completely transformed me into a different person. I think about it now, who rescued whom? I mean, did I rescue him or did he rescue me?